वेलकम बैक डी स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड एक्स रेज काफी बार क्वेश्चन इसमें से पूछा जाता है इन एनडीए लेट्स बिगेन आर डिस्कशन बाय टॉकिंग अबाउट कैथोड फिलामेंट ओके ना दिस इज द फिलामेंट व्हिच कैरीज सम करंट एंड ड्यू टू हीटिंग इट प्रोड्यूसेस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम दैट फिलामेंट ओके इट कैरीज सम करंट हियर ड्यू टू हीटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ करंट दिस फिलामेंट इज हीटेड अप ओके the metal of this filament is chosen such that it does not melt easily its melting point should be high and uh, it is negatively charged fil uh, filament so that uh, there are sufficient electrons in this filament due to this negative charge and uh, when these electrons get energy from heat they will come out of this filament okay and uh, how this current is going to affect x rays is when the current increases the heating will increase which means more number of electrons will be generated okay those more number of electrons are going to generate more number of x rays later on we will see but first of all let's see here by increasing the current we are increasing heat which increases number of electrons which are coming out electrons are boiled off okay this is called a thermionic emission emission of electrons due to heating rate of production uh, of electrons is controlled by current more electrons per unit time uh, are eventually going to uh, help in more x ray generation per time okay so current is the factor which uh, changes the number of uh, electrons and number of x rays okay next let's study what is the role of high voltage electric field which is uh, provided to this x ray generator setup now here in cathode the electrons are generated and at anode there is heavy metal where they are going to hit why is this high voltage provided between here and why positive to the anode and negative to the cathode i think this point is clear why negative is provided to cathode because it has to develop more number of electrons it it needs a negative okay and why positive because when electrons will come out of cathode they should run towards anode they they move in direction opposite to electric field so electric field is from anode towards cathode and electrons are going to be accelerated from cathode towards anode due to thermionic emission they just came out now they are going to gain some energy and rush towards anode electrons will be accelerated let's see some points about the target anode where the electrons are going to hit now the purpose is to convert all the kinetic energy of x ray or uh, all the kinetic energy of electrons into x ray radiations okay so electrons which are coming at high speed they have gained speed due to that potential difference they are going to hit uh, this metal and produce a lot of heating now electron collision will lead to a lot of a uh, deceleration of electrons they will lose their energy and that energy will be converted into x rays plus heat okay so kinetic energy of electron is going to be converted into x rays plus heat that anode should be such that uh, the metal does not melt easily okay its melting point should be high there is lead shielding around it so that uh, x rays are traveling in only the direction which we require okay they are not uh, traveling in any random direction lead absorbs radiations x ray radiations so what happens uh, if if there are any unwanted x rays which we do not want in space they will be absorbed and we will allow the radiations to uh, come out of this uh, elect uh, this x ray generation setup only in the direction which we require for example if we if we want to take x ray of a patient then we will allow x rays only to come in this direction towards the patient okay okay let's see again this what is the difference uh, what is the role of this potential difference which is provided from here to here v okay we know that uh, electron is gaining energy from this potential difference kinetic energy of electron is charge of electron into potential uh, difference v now 
kinetic energy of x uh, these electrons when they hit the target that is being converted into x rays radiation energy plus heat is released okay now only approximately 1% uh, of this is converted into x rays okay and approximately 99% of it is being converted into heat so uh, there is a lot of heat generated at this uh, target so property of this metal should be that it, uh, its melting point should be very high okay as we can see here metal target is of tungsten because tungsten does not melt easily its uh, melting point is high and uh, it is also th there are a lot of cooling uh, methods uh, strategies to prevent its melting okay but let's talk about now here x rays kinetic energy of x uh, electrons is charge of electron into this accelerating potential v now it is possible that for a particular electron which is hitting this target completely it's uh, its complete energy is converted into x rays so i can say kinetic energy of electron is equal to maximum possible wavelength of x ray maximum possible maximum possible energy of x ray okay so i can say e into v is equal to hc by lambda which is uh, energy of a x ray photon or i can say this is equal to h mu okay where lambda is wavelength and mu is frequency so uh, in that case uh, here i need to understand how this potential difference is eventually going to uh, change the penetration power of x rays important point to note here is that penetration power of x rays depends on frequency of x rays okay on the energy of x ray if its energy is more then its frequency will be more okay and in that case its penetration power will be more how to increase its penetration power i can increase its energy by increasing the potential difference so that is how penetration power can be increased some uh, questions are also mentioning uh, that does this current in the filament change the penetration power no this current can increase number of electrons which are coming out instead of three there might be five electrons coming out which means there will be more number of x rays generated here okay but energy of those x rays is dependent on this potential v on their energy on their frequency so these are factors which can affect energy of x rays frequency of x rays and uh, above all which we can alter is potential difference across that x ray tube that are going to depend uh, that are going to alter its penetration power and number of x rays generated are dependent on current in that filament